the Furness Abbey Hotel was promoted as a holiday centre. As early as 1847, a station and hotel had been opened near the Abbey ruins as the line passed directly by the site. The hotel became very well known and was refurbished following a serious fire in 1899. It was able to compete on a national level and boasted in its advertising literature that there was electric lighting throughout, along with 36 bedrooms and three bathrooms. Many tourists stopped at the hotel to admire the Abbey and other railway passengers just dropped in for tea at the railway-owned hotel. It helped to ensure that passenger trade on the Furness Railway increased by 100%. It was mostly demolished after being damaged by bombs in 1941. The Furness Railway became increasingly involved in boat services. At one time, it looked as if Barrow was to become an important port. In 1867, a service started between Peel Pier and Douglas on the Isle of Man. In the same year, a regular service began between Barrow and Ireland. In 1901, the paddle steamer Lady Evelyn ran between Barrow and Fleetwood during the summer. For holidaymakers, it was very popular, as they could come from Blackpool and visit the lakes. She was built mainly so that the railway could diversify into passenger services, as traffic from the iron mines continued to reduce. The Lady Evelyn had a colourful life. She was eventually sold and renamed the Brighton Bell, in the end, becoming a minesweeper. Other paddle steamers, such as the Lady Moira and Lady Margaret, became popular and familiar sights on the Barrow Run. The service became a big attraction, with numbers rising from 28,000 in 1901 to 150,000 in 1914. But overall, the days of the Furness Railway were numbered. Times were changing. In 1923, it was absorbed by the London, Midland and Scottish Railway. It was the end of an era.